it's not every day that i get goosebumps of just thinking about driving a car i drive a lot of fast cars on a daily basis but this car over here is just a different level of insanity this here is tunotronics stage 3 almost more than a thousand in fact horsepower audi rs6 avant and well i'm going to be experiencing it today Before we start a quick little history lesson on Tunotronics. They are a tuning shop based out of Bangalore and are deeply rooted in the world of tuning. To this day, they have the fastest quarter mile time set on a front wheel drive VRS 230 at 12.4 seconds, which it does consistently over and over again. Talking about consistency, that's the name of the game for TOT. They like to make fast, reliable and consistent cars that can demolish the leaderboard on track but still take you home while is giving amazing fuel economy. The RS6 apparently got 8 to 9 kmpl on its way from Bangalore to Pune. Moreover, the TOT boys had pulled up this time for the races with literally their whole crew driving stage 3 cars. It was basically stage 3 or nothing for them. Stage 3 Amio, stage 3 Slavia, stage 3 VRS, stage 3 530D and of course the stage 3 RS6. Now we apologize that we're doing this video outside but mechanics is literally packed with cars to the brim so but that's not going to stop us from filming this thing. So how do you make a 1000 horsepower well? First off you need a 4 liter twin turbocharged V8. Now this thing from the factory is no slouch. It used to make 560 PS of power, but now with all of the mods that the car has been uh, equipped with and uh, some secret stuff that apparently TOT has done which they're not ready to reveal, well this thing now makes 924 wheel horsepower and 1006 newton meters of torque, which is absolutely wild. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this car at a lot of drag events like Vroom, Bambi Valley and what not and this thing is always in contention to take the fastest time on the leaderboard because quattro all wheel drive but how does this thing make a thousand plus hp at the crank well the mod list just like any other stage 3 build that we feature is longer than your mom's grocery list it gets a carbon fiber eventually intake system aluminum inlet pipes and air to air intercooler conversion low pressure and high pressure fueling upgrades upgraded coils and plugs upgraded down pipes and mid pipes which connect to a miltec valvetronic catback exhaust custom port injection and the turbos are custom made by tunotronics large frame turbos with a ball bearing conversion and billet wheels inside which are fine tuned by their switchable ECU and TCU maps which have eight different settings the rs6 is known to be a sleeper in european countries but in india i would like to say that it is quite the neck snapper The wagon shape isn't something you see in India every day. So people are often confused as to what they're looking at. Moreover, the C7.5 RS6 looks super duper aggressive with its matrix headlamps up front, low slung stance, and of course, these lovely OZ racing wheels that tie it all in together. Definitely one of the prettiest wagons ever made in my opinion. Now before we take it out for a little experience, this RS6 well It's one of the most practical ways to move around as well as smoke supercars on the way. Now this thing has 565 liters of boot space and as you can see the TOT guys have used that space to its maximum. They've basically road trip with this car a VRS and I think an Amio and the 530D that's in front if you can see it. They've taken all of these cars all the way from Bangalore road tripped it all the way to Pune at our home ground. And yeah, I'm pretty sure road tripping in this car is going to be absolutely amazing. At the end of the day, it's still a big luxury barge. And in the interior, well, you get hints of sportiness here and there. You have CF trim all around, and of course, this being a stage three car, they've uh, installed this aftermarket screen over here, which shows you values like your lambda, IAT temperatures, and whatnot. But I think it's enough jibber jabber, and I think it's time to take this thing out for a little spin. Oh 
<laughs> so now I am behind the wheel of what is India's most powerful stock engine. I mean, it has nothing in terms of built parts inside the engine and it's basically stock internals. This is the most powerful stock internal car in India. 924 wheel horsepower and 1006 Newton meters of torque. Now, I am a little nervous to like push this beast. So I'm going to take it very, very easy. I mean, right now at lower RPMs, this thing is pretty tame. It's still a luxury car at the end of the day. And of course, that's the great part of cars like this. You can still daily them on with relative comfort. And as soon as we get a little bit of a better patch, we'll send it a little bit. So. There's a little bit of lag, but once you're past that... Oh my God! This is... This is the perfect Autobahn missile. I have just done speeds, which I cannot tell on camera. And that rev, I mean, that speedometer just climbed like... I mean, it climbed like a tachometer. Oh my God! It's been some time that I've had those butterflies in my stomach, but this thing is just next level. And the best part is, is that it's very controllable because it still has quattro all-wheel drive. So you're not scared that it's moving around here, here or there on the road. It's very planted. It's very poised in the way it puts down the power. I mean, it has no problems at all. And I mean, the best part about this car is that all the other cars that are there in the category, you know, they remove their interiors, try to shed as much weight as possible. Uh, Vivek tries to just run it how it is. I mean, he puts the full interior in the car. He doesn't try to do anything. And still, time and time again, it beats records like nobody's business. And it's always in contention to be the fastest car at a drag strip, which is the most impressive thing in my opinion. I mean, this is just wild the way this thing picks up speed. And from what I was speaking to Vivek uh, before we were doing this video is that he drove all the way from Bangalore to Pune and he got 8 kmpl on his way. So, I mean, in terms of fuel efficiency for more or less a 1000 bhp car, that's pretty impressive. And yeah, I mean, this thing is tame when you want it to be. It's a wild animal when you want to put some supercars to shame. And I mean, this thing is so practical. You have 565 liters of boot space. You can put the seats down and you can basically, you know, put a whole village inside there. That's how big this car is, how spacious it is. So this thing has the magnetic right suspension. It's very compliant and I mean, it's no problem at all. And Vivek has put on the PS4 SUV tires on the car. So, you know, we he can go anywhere that he wants and you know, uh, the tyres are not the limiting factor of the journeys that he wants to do. And this thing, I mean, is so impressive. I have to do one last pull. Sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm upshifting fairly early. <laughs> And, and you're in auto, I mean... Yeah, I know, I'm in normal, I'm not even in dynamic. <laughs> and this is a very nice sounding engine, the 4-litre twin-turbo V8 from the VAG family. And this thing has a custom downpipe, a custom midpipe, and it's a very, very nice sounding car. Let's talk numbers and what sort of times this four-door people carrier with a twin-turbo V8 plonked in front is able to do. The best time Tunotronics has been able to clock on Draghi is an eye-wateringly fast 10.18 seconds with the RS6 completing the 0-200 kph sprint in 2.81 seconds and going from 100 to 200 km an hour in a ridiculous 5.29 seconds. 
Moreover, at the Valley Run, Vivek was able to clock a 10.2 second quarter mile time, which crowned him the champion of the unrestricted category. This RS6 can run tens all day long with full interior weight and can still take you back home whilst giving 8 kmpl it was an awesome evening with the tot crew and the drive we had towards the first toll in the expressway was amazing we were surrounded by stage 3 monsters everywhere i'm very excited to see what this thing does at this year's valley run event and i'm pretty sure this video is coming out after that so i'm pretty sure you guys already know the results and everything but still i'm hoping that this car puts a lot of other cars to shame and it's just going to be a treat to see this car uh, going down the track strip so a big shout out to vivek and the tot gang for letting us do this video and this whole night has been an amazing experience like all of their cars the whole team going down to lonavla unfortunately we have to head back from the first toll but yeah it's been an amazing experience and let's see what these guys do at uh, valley run i mean they've been doing this thing for like 10 years so they know what they're doing for sure so do follow them on instagram we'll put all of their credentials down below uh, follow us on instagram subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one